I've never tried these strings on this type of guitar. This is your typical spruce top, rosewood back and sides. I've only ever tried Diodario XS acoustic phosphor bronze coated strings on an all maple guitar that's an OM with a curvy back. I'm expecting that this is gonna be a little more scooped and a little more woody than the jangly warm phosphor bronze strings that I normally use on this type of guitar. I'm expecting to like it a little less. So this is a first reaction. I have not played the guitar since I put the strings on. I put the strings on the guitar for another video I wanted to shoot a little later today, but I thought I would get my reaction on camera in case it was entertaining for you. I haven't played these yet. I have no idea what they're gonna sound like. I'm gonna start with a two millimeter Dunlop prime tone. This is the brightest pick I have. This is what I would use to get the maximum brightness. It's a little bright. Sounds good. Let's try a middle of the road, Diodario Cortex. This is my desert island guitar pick. This is the guitar pick that splits the difference of everything I might want to do. I almost never use it, but I always have one in my pocket because it's not the best tool for most things, but it's an acceptable tool for any sound. Back to the prime grip. The prime tone has something I love about it, but it's the texture of the surface of the pick is just a little too abrasive for strings that are this new. It's just too bright. Let's try a similar pick. This is a Dunlop Durlin pick two millimeters, it's got a nice round bevel. This should darken it up quite a bit, but still have whatever that thing is that I like about the prime tone. I like that one. It's, it is woodier, it is a little more scooped, but Brand new strings, I like a nice dark pick. I like the round bevel on this because it just helps me to glide across the strings and have a lot of tone as well. Let's try a Jazz 2. So this is also a Dunlop. You've seen the Jazz 3s. I like Jazz 2 picks a lot of times. That's up there too. I can't tell if that one or if the Durlin two millimeter is my favorite. Let's try another Durlin, but this one's only one millimeter, so it's, it's half as thick. I like that just as much. I wonder if I have a one and a half millimeter Durlin in here. Ha, I do. One and a half millimeter Durlin. Let's see if the Goldilocks likes it best right in the middle because the, the two millimeter felt really nice with that nice thick round bevel, but it was just maybe a little too dark, maybe not. And the one millimeter, it kind of, had a little more brightness, but it didn't feel as nice because it wasn't that big, thick, round bevel. So here's one and a half millimeters. I like this. This is good. All right, so let's, we're gonna stick with this one. The one I chose was Dur, uh, Dunlop, Durlin 500. 500 means it's really good, right? Dunlop Durlin 500, one and a half millimeters. I love these picks. It's just that once the strings aren't brand new and they darken up a little bit, these round bevels, uh, they, they just are a little too dark. 
and that's when I'll switch to the prime tone or something else. Try it with some uh, finger picking. The strings are fantastic. I think I would go with um, warmer strings on this guitar. I think the next time I change the strings, I'll use Stringjoy Foxwoods or Stringjoy Naturals, which are basically just a better version. But each, both of those are a better version of Martin Phosphor Bronze or Elixir Nano Webs, respectively. If you ever wonder why I seem to play the same stuff during tests, it's because over time, I'm gonna have a little collection of these sound samples. So I try to keep as much consistency as I can with what I'm playing, how I'm recording it. I have a way of using my phone right in front of, right, in, my phone is right here. I found, that's a, that's a sweet spot for recording your guitar with your phone. <laughs> I like them. Final thoughts as a first reaction of Diodario XS Phosphor Bronze strings on a regular old spruce top, Rosewood back and sides guitar, is that they're great, can't go wrong, probably not my favorite, but I love them. It's enough to love them. It's enough to love your guitar when you play it. It doesn't always have to be your creme de la creme favorite. In fact, it would be boring if you always used your creme de la creme favorite for everything. Would you eat your favorite meal every night for dinner? Would it even still be your favorite meal if you did? Some things are special because we're not doing them all the time. So don't be afraid to experiment, enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm.